some time to attend our webinar this morning on a solution from E1 Business Solutions called SmartView. It uh, works with your smart list within Dynamics GP and also Smart List Builder. Um, so today um, we have with us Naomi Olson with E1 Business Solutions. She is going to be doing the presentation for you and everyone is on mute for the presentation and then at the end of the presentation we will unmute uh, the lines and be able to take questions from you. So at this time, um, bear with me one moment, I'm going to uh, change presenter and um, allow Naomi to present the solution. Perfect. Thank you, Eric. Are you able to, uh, there you go. You should be presenter now, Naomi. Okay. Yep. I do see now. I All can. right. We can see your screen. Perfect. Great. So, Kind of as Eric had mentioned, um, what we'll do is we'll make sure that we have time at the end to address any of your questions. However, you know, if you wanted to submit them via that chat feature in the bottom right hand corner too, just so you don't forget them as we're going throughout our session, by all means, certainly do that and we can, um, you know, make sure we, we get those taken care of. So thank you guys so much for joining us today. Um, I'm going to show you a little bit more about SmartView and it ways that you're going to be able to use smart view in terms of creating some of those efficiencies when you're working with your smart list on a day-to-day -day basis so smart list is an easy to use interface that's going to allow you to access those smart lists but with some added cool features that that will save you time and i'll show you more about what i mean here as we go throughout our session today so let's go ahead and Again, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you SmartView working live in action. I'm going to also talk a little bit about some of those differences. There's all these smarts out there, right? And it's super confusing. I know it even is for me. I, I kind of get, you know, get it's like a tongue twister. So let's go ahead and we'll address some of those differences. And again, we'll definitely have time at the end to, to answer those questions. But if you do want to submit them at chat feature, by all means, certainly do so. So in terms of the differences, so a smart list, that comes with GP. So it's free, right? We all know what you get when it's free. Um, so that is just your basic reporting tool. We have smart view that was developed by E1 Solutions and it does replace your smart list. So if you're using smart view, you no longer need to use smart list. And then we have smart list builder in there. And where the builder comes into play is SmartList Builder, again, developed by E1 Solutions, allows you to create those custom smart lists. So we all have those certain fields that we want to pull into our list, but you can't do that with your smart list. With SmartList Builder, you're going to be able to pull in some of those key fields, which will allow you then to be able to make an informed business decision based upon the data that you're looking at. So in terms of going into a little more detail about the differences between your smart list and smart view. Again, smart view or smart list is free. We all know what we get when it's free. It's just your basic reporting tool and it is very slow. Um, kind of a story around that. There was a customer who was using smart list and they would literally pull up their lists at the beginning of the day in hopes by maybe after lunchtime, those lists were done loading. Um, once we implemented SmartView, they were able to pull in thousands of transactions within seconds. And I'll show you here a little bit later on, we'll actually do a speed test. So I'll show you firsthand where you can see the differences in how fast SmartView truly is. With SmartList, you only have four filters. I don't know about you, but when I'm working and querying my data, I need more than four filters. So therefore, you're just going to have very limited data that you're going to expose. Now, in terms of SmartView, again, that was developed by Ewan. It replaces 
people smart lists and it really makes working with your list on a day-to-day -day basis so much easier you've got easy grouping subgrouping unlimited filters you can do your export to excel um, you also have the ability and this is kind of a neat feature so let's say you have users that are going into gp but they're going in there only to access Access those lists. You can give them access to those lists outside of GP. Therefore, you can save a user, a GP user license. Um, also, any list that you've created using Smart List Builder, you're going to have access there right in Smart View. And the other thing is you can open up more than one instance at a time. So I personally, I have about three or four instances of Smart View open, and that way I can toggle back and forth from report to report throughout the day. All right, well, let's go ahead and see Smart View. I've talked enough about it. Let's look at it firsthand here. And we're gonna start out with a speed test. So I do wanna show you how fast Smart View is in comparison to your Smart List. Now, as we're going throughout this session too, if you guys wanna maybe think about some of those pain points that you currently have with your Smart List, I'd love to hear them, maybe show you some things that we can do in Smart View to fix those pain points. Um, and again, if you wanna submit them that chat feature, you certainly can, or we can address them at the end as well. So let's go ahead and have a speed test. So I'm gonna go into GP and you're gonna be able to access Smart View just as you would your Smart List. So you're going right here in your GP menu structure. And I'm gonna go ahead and select Smart View. And let's just go ahead and open up our, let's do our sales line items. Now, as you can see, when I open up Smart View, it looks very similar to your Smart List. So when I open up this list, now, as you can see, what we were able to do is we were able to pull in a thousand line items within 0.61 seconds. Now, let's go back into our menu structure and pull up Smart List, and let's pull up that very same list. So, we're going to go into Sales, we're going to do our Sales line items. Remember, we pulled up a thousand in 0.61 seconds. It's been more than 0.61, and we're only at a few hundred. So in terms of speed, as you can see firsthand, um, this smart view is definitely way faster. All right, let's talk a little bit about the lay of the land, so to speak. So if we notice here on our left-hand side, this is what we call our tree view. This is where you're gonna be able to access any of those canned lists that you get with GP, as well as any of those lists that you've created with Smart List Builder. Now, Smart View and Smart List Builder, they are completely independent tools and you do not need one or the other to be able to use them. However, when you combine Smart View and Smart List Builder, they are one of your best set of reporting tools and, and very powerful when you're working with your GP data. And I'll show you a little bit about that here too as we go throughout our session. So the left-hand side has your tree view where you're gonna be able to access all of those lists. If we move over to the right-hand side, this is where we're gonna be able to pull in some additional fields from, from, these, from this selection here. So we're working with our sales line items. So let's just go ahead and add in a few um, sales fields here. So let's do like an SOP type. And it is a really nice drag and drop functionality. So I can literally drag that and move that over into our data field. Or let's say I don't wanna do that. I can double click on this field and it's gonna bring that into our data field. All right, and then let's go ahead and add in a salesperson ID. Now I'm gonna move up to the very top left-hand section here under the options tab. And I'm gonna hide the list on the left-hand side and I'm also going to hide the columns on the right-hand side. What this is gonna do is this is gonna give us greater visibility in terms of the data that we are working with. Now, if you make note, those additional columns that I added, added on the very right hand or the very end of our section here. So let's say that I don't want, you know what, I didn't add, I wanna add in our sales date. Let's click on that here. Okay, perfect. 
let's say that I don't want my sales date here at the end. I can literally drag this and drop this in any order that I choose. I'm gonna move my sales ID here and let's move our sales territory here. Now, we're looking at a list here, right? There's a lot of data, but really when you're looking at this data, it's just, it's just a bunch of fields thrown at you. It doesn't really mean anything. So let's go ahead and do some grouping and subgrouping where we can really get a good feel and a good look at the data that we're truly looking at here. So let's say that I'm wanting to group by our SLP type and I wanna group by our sales territory. So now when we're looking at our data, it looks a little bit easier to read. So if I go ahead and collapse this, you're gonna see now I am gonna get all of the SOPs for all of the territories. And these are broken down into these different sections. One thing if you make note of, we are seeing our totals to our screen. Not only are we seeing that grand total there at the very bottom, but we're also seeing totals for each of the, these sections as well. Well, let's say that I don't want the total. I can do an average. Also, let's say that you're wanting to add in, let's say we wanna count those records. You can certainly add in um, a, a counting record as well. Now let's go ahead and I'm going to filter in and I wanna see now only the invoices for all of those territories. So what I did is this little carrot in the upper right hand corner, I filtered in and now I'm seeing only those invoices for each of those territories. So if I collapse the data again and expand this grouping, now as you can see, I'm seeing only the invoices and I'm getting those totals for each of those territories. Um, so in terms of when you're trying to make those informed business decisions, especially based upon the data that you're looking at, um, it's just something that's going to give you that power and also efficiencies just when you're working with your lists on a day-to-day -day basis. Now let's say that, okay, so I added this filter, right? So I'm seeing only the invoices. When you add in a filter, what it does is it opens up a filter ribbon. So if we look at the very bottom, this purple ribbon, this is where we're gonna be able to add in those unlimited filters that I talked about. So I can literally add to my heart's content. There's no limit. Not only can you add filters, but you're gonna be able to set conditions to these filters. So you've got and, or, or you could do things such as equals, does not equals, is like. Um, one of my favorites that I personally use has to do with our date field. So we have some predefined date parameters that are set up. So let's say that I'm wanting to pull in data from yesterday, last week. I can easily go in and just select that in terms of those parameters. All right, let's go ahead and close out of the filters. Now, we talked about grouping and subgrouping, right? I showed you your totals to your screen. We talked about those unlimited filters. Now, let's say that I'm wanting to pull up this invoice. I can literally double click on any transaction window and I'm gonna be able to pull that up to screen. Now, the one difference is between the smart view external functionality that I had mentioned, so, the ability to access the, these lists outside of GP, you are not going to get the ability to pull up these transaction windows because we're not in GP to do that. All right, the other thing that I wanna show you too is, let's say that you're still wanting to do your export to Excel. You can do an export to Excel, CSV or PDF. So I'm gonna move up to the top middle section here of our screen. And I'm just gonna click on Excel. Excel seems to be a big one nowadays. And let's just go ahead and save this. And as you can see when I save this, the export to Excel is extremely quick. And what it does is it keeps all of the headers and footers just as you had it um, on your screen. So it's gonna keep everything just as you see it. All right, let's go ahead and move out of here. Now, Let's say now this is a list that I work with on a day-to-day -day basis. 
And I really do not want to have to go into GP and set up all of this grouping and filters and everything every single day. What I'm able to do is I'm able to add this as a favorite. So if you look at the very top left hand corner, you're going to see this star. I'm going to click on this. Now, when I click on this, this is going to give us the ability to not only save it as a favorite, but you're also going to be able to set up parameters in terms of who you want to access this list. So you can set it up based upon a specific user within your organization. So let's say you have certain users you want to see this list, or you can set it up based upon a specific role as well. Also, if you have more than one company in GP, you can certainly define which company that you want this specific list associated with. In this case, I'm just gonna pick all users, all companies, I'm going to go ahead and save it. And now I'm going to move up to the top here under the options tab. Let's add the lists back to the left hand side here. So that way you're going to be able to see, you're going to be able to see. So this star with the OTT is the list there that I just saved. So if I go off of this list, what I want to show you is, so here's just your standard list with all of this data thrown at you. Now, if I click on the star with the OTT, as you can see, now it's kept all of the grouping and subgrouping just as we had it um, prior to saving it. All right, let's go ahead and talk a little bit. Now, I mentioned the fact that SmartList Builder and SmartView, even though the, they are independent, they work very well together. So you see this modify button here at the very top. If you have SmartList Builder installed, when you click this modify button, what it does is it brings you right into the builder, which what the builder is going to allow you to do is it's going to allow you to display specific fields that you otherwise maybe would not have access to just with those standard smart list. So you're literally going to be able to go in on the fly and make those changes. All right, let's close out of that. Now let's go ahead and I'm gonna move back here to our PowerPoint and let's talk a little bit about some pricing. There's two different options for pricing. So we've got the one-time cost of $2,500. This is a full site license with unlimited users. And there is a 17.5% annual enhancement. Or the other option is a monthly subscription based pricing. And that's going to be at 178 per month. And it's pay as you go, and there, there's no contract. So, literally, if you're wanting to go ahead and give it a try, you certainly can do that. And you're not locked into any minimum amount of contracts. Um, another thing that I do want to mention is the way SmartView is set up is you can actually go ahead and download the tool. And I'm going to show you where you can do that here. So let's close out of here for just a second. And I'm going to pull up our website. And if you go to the Downloads tab and go ahead and click on SmartView, you could install the tool. So if you're using, let's say you're on 28 GP, you're gonna to wanna to then install the 2018 version of SmartView and you can use it for 30 days without even entering any key keys. So you're gonna be able to use it with your live data. That way, if you wanna get a feel for the tool, figure, you know, find if it's something that's going to help you, that's gonna benefit you, you certainly can do that. The other really nice thing about this tool is it's just one of those tools that you don't need training on. So if you're a SmartList user, you're literally going to be able to go in, use SmartView, and you're not going to have to try to spend hours to figure it out. You're just going to get it. It's just very user-friendly um, and easy to work with. All right, so we talked about the pricing. Um, we talked about really in terms of the differences between SmartList and SmartView. We also talked about, you know, how easy it is to use and that you're not going to need any additional training to use it. 
also in terms of the external functionality, you know, if you are accessing those lists again outside of GP, you're going to be able to save some of those user license as well. What I would like to do now is I know I've done a lot of talking. I've showed you quite a few things and hopefully you guys have thought about maybe some of those pain points that you currently have when you're working with your smart list on a day to day basis. Um, so I do want to go ahead and open it up for a question. So if we want to go ahead and unmute everybody, we can certainly, if you want to voice those questions, it might be a little bit easier. Naomi, thank you very much. I have uh, unmuted everyone. So at this time, we can take any questions that any of you may have. And if there are not any questions, we have recorded this webinar and we will be making it available on our website later in the week for you to revisit if needed as well. Perfect. So I want to thank you, you guys... all for taking the time today to attend the event and uh, look forward to our next webinar series in August. Thank you all. Perfect. Thank you, Eric.